Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Science Time with the Thompsons. Today, we're gonna learn how to make our own mini lava lamps. So let's just get right to it. To make our own mini lava lamps, these are the things we're going to need. <clears throat> you're going to need water, you're going to need oil of some type, I'm using vegetable oil, it can be any type of oil, even baby oil will work. You're going to need some food coloring, and you're going to need an effervescent tablet, okay? Your parents will know what this is. Alright, so let's get going. Okay guys, once you've gathered your ingredients, you're going to need some kind of clear container to put the oil and water in. And so this is an example of how you can just reuse things around the house. This is an empty olive oil container. Alright, this is just a water bottle. And this used to be a peanut butter jar. So I just washed those out and now I can reuse them for my lava lamps. So the way you're going to put this together is you're going to first put in your water. You're going to put one to two inches of water at the bottom. Then you will take your food coloring, whichever color you want your lamp to be, and squirt it down in the water, mix it up till you get a good solid color. Then you fill it up the rest of the way with your oil, okay? So you want more oil and just a little bit of colored water. Then you're going to take your tablets and you're going to break these up into pieces and you're simply going to drop them in. Now, this is going to create a reaction, gas bubbles are going to be released, and it is going to cause the water to float up and down in your oil. Now, the reason it just doesn't all turn blue or red is because oil and water don't mix. You may have heard that term before. And that has to do with their, the way their molecules are made. Intermolecular polarity is the scientific term for why the oil and the water won't mix together. But just trust me, they don't mix. All right, so let's put a few pieces in here and see what happens. You put them in and immediately you're gonna start seeing that reaction happen. And it's gonna start bringing the colored water up into the oil. Look at that go. See all those bubbles bringing that colored water up? Now I have also, I've got some white paper here I'm going to put behind it just so you can see just a little better of what's happening here. Isn't that awesome? Now the great thing about this guys is once your tablet stops fizzing, then just let it settle down and wait a few minutes the oil and the water will separate again and you can start all over and you can keep using these over and over again. All right, I think this green one might be my favorite right now. Old water food coloring and a fizzy tablet and you've got your own mini lava lamp. Hey Dante, how do trees use the internet? How? They log in! <laughs> I just wanted to give y'all a couple of little quick, simple activities you could do maybe on a rainy day. The first one, speaking of rainy day, is we're going to make a rain cloud. So all you need is a clear container and some shaving cream, regular shaving cream, not the gel. Alright, you're going to fill your container up with water and then you're going to make a cloud. Alright, so there is my cloud. And you may have wondered why does it rain some days and some days there's lots of clouds and no rain. Well, the reason it rains is because the cloud gets too heavy 
to hold the water in the cloud and it finally has to come through. So we're gonna simulate that. I have made some blue water. I took some blue food coloring water in here and I've got a little dropper. And I'm just gonna drop my blue water into the cloud and we're gonna watch it rain. What's happening in the atmosphere is the clouds are really just getting too heavy. And at some point, they just can't hold that water in any longer and they start to rain. quick activity I want to do is just just because it's cool looking it works under the same idea of the lava lamp with the oil and water not mixing and what I did this time is I filled a clear container full of water I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of this empty water bottle and I took all four colors of my food coloring and I squirted a bunch in and then I just shook it until you can see it looks almost like this black yuck okay so now I'm just going to pour it on top of this water. Ew. Kind of looks like a black, black lava lamp. Alright, and I'm just going to let it sit there and something really awesome is about to happen. So let's watch.